Hi, and welcome to the Tom Summers Real Estate Podcast. I'm your host, Tom Summers, with Coldwell Banker Burnett. I'm a licensed real estate agent for over 14 years, and I work the entire Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area. This podcast is designed to give you answers, whether you're a buyer or a seller, about real estate in the current market. Today, I want to focus on buyers and the 2017 real estate market, at least the spring of 2017. Right now, as we move into the new year, the first thing that I'm seeing is we have some of the lowest amount of inventory that I've seen in the last decade. How does this affect you? Well, it's great for the sellers because it's going to be a seller's market. For the buyers, it's going to make it a little bit harder for you. So the more you can do to get prepared for purchasing a home, the easier it will be, the better shot you'll have of getting the home that you want and not being beat out by someone else. The first thing that you want to do when looking at this situation is to go to a loan officer. Find out what you qualify for. Find out what your monthly payments are going to be so you know where your comfort level is. The second thing you want to do is sit down with a real estate agent. Obviously, if you're in the Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area, please give me a call. I'd be more than happy to discuss anything with you. You want to have a search set up of the areas in which you want to live in that price range so you can start to acclimate yourself to that area. Within a month or so, it'll tell you an awful lot about what's going on in that specific area of the city. You want to be able to see what comes on the market, how long it's on the market, and what it typically sells for, or at the time that it goes off the market and pens, you kind of want to know what the list price is. Did it drop? Uh, Has it been reduced several times? Was it still at the original list price? All of those little tidbits of information will really help you to understand what's going on with the type of homes you're looking for in that specific area. After about a month, the next thing you're going to want to do, if you're not in a hurry to purchase, is maybe take an afternoon and go out and look at a couple of houses with your agent. That'll give you a better indication of what that house actually has. One thing that's changed is over the years, as the internet has kind of developed, we've given uh, buyers a lot more information, photos, descriptions, video tours, drones, you name it. But that still doesn't replace that feeling of literally walking into the house and going, oh, this is it, I'm home, this is exactly where I want to be. And sometimes it's going to be a situation where it'll be a house where you're thinking, oh, there's no way I would live here. You walk in it and it becomes that home. So you have to be very aggressive. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to overpay. But being aggressive means being organized. So you want to make sure that you have all of that stuff organized and taken care of ahead of time so that when you're out looking, and a home comes up on the market that turns out to be the right one for you, you can move on it right away, write a purchase agreement before you get into multiple offers because a lot of your competitors haven't done the legwork you did already and don't know the market. That is the best thing you can do working in a seller's market to get ahead of your competition.